Hello, hello, hello. Hello, what have we here? Sorry, I'm a little bit behind schedule. I completely lost track of time. I was, uh, too busy finishing off Sam. This is D&D &D character. Uh, <laughs> right, where are we? This is the wrong colour for a start. What am I doing? What am I fucking doing? Disgraceful. Right. Uh, let's get started, shall we? How are we all doing? Camera is in the complete wrong position because I keep pointing at that cat. I'm obsessed. Who is getting killed? Everybody is getting killed. Hello, Oliver. Hello, Dahans. Not only am I on time this day, I am early, unlike me. Okay, is the game gonna get picked up? Bup, 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 bup. I'm not seeing it yet. I'm not seeing it yet. I'm not seeing it yet. Okay, something's gone wrong. Oh, bollocks. That'll be why. It's got a crash now, isn't it? Yep. Second try. It should, <laughs> it should capture this time. Doing fine. Fantastic. Hello, Lily. Is the game there? There we go. Fantastic. <sighs> so, we're not doing any more main quests just now because that wasn't very fun last week. I do think we have hit the, um, what is the opposite of a sweet spot? A sour spot in Bethesda level scaling, where when you're at level one and level two, and maybe even like level three or four at a push, um, everything is like really, really low level. And if you have even a half decent weapon, I'm talking like a steel arrow, a steel bow, you're, you're doing pretty good. But then everything in the world starts to out level you. And your gear is not increasing, and you are leveling very slowly. Um, and around that level 8, 9, 10, I don't know exactly how far. I feel like Skyrim level 10 is the worst to be. And then it takes a while for you to start getting that steamroll, where now you're a god and <laughs> uh, with the highest level gear and your skills all maxed out, and then you start killing everything, no problem. But right now, we're struggling. So. I'm gonna do some side quests for a bit. Uh, where the hell were we? Ah, we haven't handed in one of our Dark Brotherhood quests, so that's a start. I'm also very hungry. I have not had time to make any dinner, so I'm just gonna have some uh, chocolate digestives. Nom nom nom. How do you do? So, how's everyone's day been? Mine's was pretty shit. Well, not that shit. Just a little... A little bit time wasty. I woke up late. Because the little fucker back there <laughs> was meowing at four in the morning. Um, I was due to go for a walk with me da. It was pissing with rain, didn't really want to go. I was knackered, I hadn't done anything that morning because I woke up at quarter to eleven. I've completely forgotten where the M. Got home late, felt like shit, felt sick. Haven't got any work done, haven't eaten. And now I'm here. <laughs> right as rain. 
My day was fine, almost done writing video, college was okay, but my feet are in agony from the Wild King. That's a shame. So Hello. See you. Is there anything you need? Honestly, don't really care for these people. You know what, if, if something happened that resulted in the deaths of everybody in this sanctuary, I don't think I would care that much. Feet. So, the accident has been staged and Bainlin lies dead. Well done. You have more than earned your reward and bonus. I present to you this dagger. It's an enchanted blade known as Sufferthorn. Its prick is deadly, I assure you. Yes, you are quite an asset to this sanctuary. Prick. In fact, I believe you are ready for advancement. I hereby appoint you Slayer. Well done. Now go, child of Sithis. The fuck are you doing? Get back up! This is the generic granddad voice. It is. It's the Joffrey voice that I'm really glad did not make it past this game. Its prick is deadly, as is mine. I'm taking Grandpa for his walk. Oh, he does have shoes. What the, what the fuck was that about then? I mean, I guess who the hell sleeps with their shoes on? Come on. Back for more? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I'll. I, I want another job. I just. I just love killing. As always, you fail to disappoint me. Your target is a dark elf named Valen Dreth. He thinks he's safe in prison. He is. <gasps> I know that guy. Mistaken. A prisoner recently escaped from the prison using a set of secret tunnels connected to That's the me? city's sewer system. It's a perfect way inside. Just outside the Imperial Prison is a grating that leads to the sewers. It has recently been tightly locked, but I will provide a key. It should be easy enough to locate Dreth in his small cell. Besides, I think you know the way, hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> has been imprisoned for many years. His tongue is sharp, but his body is limp and frail. He will prove an easy... You will receive a bonus if you fulfill the contract without killing any of the prison guards. Okie dokie. So yeah, this is the guy. Right at the character creation at the start of the game. I'm sure we'll recognize him. Even if he has the same voice as a third of the other characters in this game. What? Is she going to pull out my extended hard drive? Please don't. Can you guys hear that? What? Okay, fine. <laughs> Try to pick her up and her she's clawing onto the carpet. Ooh, that wasn't there before. Would you stop following me? Hello, Ariana. Right, we can use this. Wait, hold on, hold on. Do we have any actual ammo here? Uh, yes, we do. We have enough just to kill the rats. There's nothing else to really worry about. We're not killing any of the guards. Okay. You're being a right pain in the arse today, you know that. <laughs> Waking me up at four in the morning. Making a noise as soon as I start streaming. Women, am I right? Uh, it's the bloke, the prison man. The one who was talking, uh, taking the piss out of you. You know what you must do. Do not hesitate, Shadow Mercy. Yeah. I thought we already killed him, to be honest. Didn't we punch the shit out of him right at the start of the game? Right, I'm 
getting quite sick of this uh, lighting. There we go. Ooh. I fucking love the ragdolls in this game. What quest are we starting with? Uh, we're right back to the um, Dark Brotherhood. And our next target is the prison guy. Whatever his name was. Danny DeVito or something. Draylon Vagina. Veil and Dreth, whatever. Grab me. Hmm. Ah. So what's on the news today? Can't actually remember. Has there been any game news? Any preferably not real world news? Because I'd rather not talk about ongoing things. I, I genuinely don't remember. I feel like there's been something, but... Helldivers 2 is still pretty cool, I guess. Breaking news! Helldivers 2, still good. Still not played. Honestly, probably never will at this point, because I don't like playing games when they first come out, because I don't have the money. And then, by the time they're low price, everyone else has stopped playing and the hype is gone, so... Like, honestly, honestly, can't lie. Still want to play Baldur's Gate 3, but the pressure is not there anymore. You guys should get on that. Distracting me. Hmm. Um. No additional content for Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, I heard. Um. Their heart's not in it, says Larian. Although people are interpreting this to mean that they don't want to work with, um. Would it be Wizards of the Coast or, or whoever? Whoever's in. Whoever they're having to liaise with when it comes to, like, Baldur's Gate setting. Oh, there we go. Level up. Nice. I think this is when we're going to start seeing some guards, so... You're being really annoying. Right? You can stay here. If you want my attention that badly. Nope. Wriggle away, or immediately wriggles away. You'd rather just go under my chair and scream at me. What I've been able to suss from the news tab, Kate Middleton invaded Moscow because of the New England football uniforms. Oh. <laughs> Does this exit to the Sanctum? What the fuck is this Sanctum? I don't think that has anything to do with this quest at all. Let's just ignore that. Uh oh, uh oh, wait, Ter terrible idea, oh shit. I, th 
think I may have locked myself in here. Hmm. This could be problem. Actually, I think that's a way out. We're fine. We're fine. Have you had a cat prior to this? No. Hey. Okay. The gate is sealed. Um. Hmm. So this is my oh, current quest, active quest, scheduled for execution. Okay, I guess it is the Sanctum we're meant to be going to. I'm, I'm always just wary when there is a locked door with no key and it's the actual quest um, objective. I'm just very used to Bethesda games only ever locking things that are optional, you know? I suppose I shouldn't complain. It's uh it's better this way. Of course I'm proud to do my duty, but it's a waste of time. What are we guarding? Cold stone and shadow. That's it. Do I have any invisibility? No. Shame. Okay, we're going to have to wait. I'm not disagreeing with you, believe me. Those assassins got what they wanted. The emperor is dead. They got no reason to come back. Wonder if the That's fan base exactly put too much pressure said. on Larian? But will the captain listen? No. Possibly. The the prison must remain secure. I think they spent a many, many years on that game. Just who are we and the bar has now been raised. It, there's now a massive expectation, so it probably is a little it's a little bit of that, possibly. Yeah, well, I guess you can't blame the pressure of having to live up to expectations. The fact that it took so long to make what they did and they put so much energy and time into it. Do they want to go through all that again? Yeah, true enough. Oh well. I best be getting back to my watch. Hey, don't forget, we're meeting for drinks later at the bloated float. Oh, I'll be there. How could I miss a chance to see you cower before that big orc bouncer? <laughs> I ain't afraid. Oh, get on with it, you two. Hey, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Actually, I'm gonna save now so I don't have to listen to them prattle again. Ooh. Now we are just retracing our old steps, right? Is he going to turn around? Or is he just going to stare into that corner? Just keep staring into that corner. Thank you. All too easy. Um, They just need to use the... Huh? They need to use the engine to make a remake of Fallout 1 and 2. What, Larian? <laughs> Game of the Year backfired in a way. Happy for Baldur's Gate, but now they've got to deliver. No good putting your feet up now when you're a fan favourite. <sighs> well, then that you're you're describing the trap that so many developers fall into, aren't you? When you when you have a big hit, when you're very successful, then it's like, all right, we got we got to replicate the success right away. Go go go, make a sequel, <laughs> make DLC. I guess I kind of respect them for for not. I think it's a shame. It would be good if they did, but not feeling like they absolutely have to. I guess it depends where that feeling's coming from. If it is just, like, crunch and exhaustion, then that's not very good. But if it's a creative choice, like, we feel like we've told all the story that we wanted to, then uh, I can respect that.
Anybody home? I think we're good. I think we're good. Stop scratching. The one bit of uncovered sofa she's scratching on. Um... Work harder, Larian slaves. Hey, quick sticks. Uh, they want to start a new IP. It was probably the same with the... DOS 2 success. DOS 2. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank of what DOS is. <laughs> Uh, even Cyberpunk pulled an expansion out of its arse after having to come back, after being one of the most broken games we've seen at launch. Gotta give them props, to be honest. Eh. I guess. Oh, careful! What are you doing? She's... She's mucking about with me wall posters. Almost fell on her. <laughs> hey! Nah. Oh, she knows. <laughs> when the headset comes off. <laughs> I just caught that on the, the stream replay there. There's my camera fixed. Off she goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, almost there. I think we're just up here, right? This is our old prison cell. I told you I was going to get out of here. My time's almost up, and there's nothing you can do about it. <gasps> yeah, well, what's it been? Seven, eight years? We've had a good long run, you and me. I always knew it would end someday. Eleven! Eleven years in this rat-infested hole! But I'm getting out, and you'll still be stuck in here! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, yeah? Where will you go, huh? What will you do? You can't survive out there, Dreth. You're an animal. You belong you animal. in a cage. I'll remember that when I'm lying on the beaches of Somerset Isle with your wife, you... <laughs> you imperial pig. Right. And you'll be rich, too. Oh, and you'll become a king. And you know what ah, I think... Ah, Divinity. There we go. I think you'll be back. You lot always come. You'll see, you imperial dog. When I get out of here, all of Tamria will know my name. Valen Dreth. Valen Dreth. All right, all right. I'm tempted to let you out right now if you just shut up. Okay, save. So I don't have to listen to that again. <laughs> His wife. Um... I thought Steven was trolling about DOS 2 since his last time playing was so painful. Oh, <laughs> a little bit. Hello? You've got to get me out of here. Wait, I know you. You. You're the one. That day the Emperor was killed. They went through your cell. You lucky strumpet. But you came back? Come on. You've got to help me. Let old Valen out of this cell. You've got your freedom, now give me mine. What do you say, huh? Come on, friend. You are going to die in here. Not because I'm particularly committed to the whole Dark Brotherhood bit, but I just think you're a cunt. What? You filthy little <laughs> maggot. When I get out of here, you're dead. You hear me? Dead! Can I shoot through the bars? Thank God. Um, right. Uh, I don't remember if I can just walk out the front door or not and just pretend like I was visiting the prison. Probably not, but it would be preferable to sneaking back through the sewer again. Fuck. Fine. Fine. Fine, fine, fine.
<laughs> Motherfucker literally said, no, you. Imagine if these lines were being spoken by the Morrowind VA. Yeah, they they really... <laughs> what, what did they do to the Dark Elves between Morrowind and Oblivion? What happened? Was there lead in the water? What happened? And then by the time of Skyrim, they all become pirates. You Enwa, we're watching you, scum. Not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. It's me, Valen Dreth. Woo! It's, know, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. Hmm. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Quick save. Save scum. I don't care. <laughs> Where are you? Very perceptive, mate. Um. I'm not even sure if this is the way out. Yes, it is. Okay. The Sanctum. <laughs> oh, these guards are great. Just standing facing a wall. Where are you? I suppose it was nothing. What? Who's there? Guess I was just imagining things. Uh, <laughs> let's get on with this. Let's get the fuck out of here. Everything should be dead. We can just run straight to the exit. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. I think it was this way? Yeah. They all become West Country in Skyrim. Um... I once did this quest with way too low of stealth, and it was painful, I suppose. I do reckon the guards probably have their, um, field of view, or, I don't know, is there a perception stat in this game? There must be something to govern how perceptive NPCs are, because, like, if, if you're just sneaking around town, it's pretty hard to not get seen, but if you're sneaking around quests, like, for this, or the, um, the Thieves' Guild, especially lower level ones, they surely tune down how um, how easily you can be spotted by NPCs. Like, I know when in, in the Fallout games, they, they literally just turn perception down. But I'm not sure if there's an equivalent stat in this for that. Dunmore have the Inwa Pass. That's a ghoul. Funnily enough, the voice I was doing also played a ghoul in Point Lookout, so... Mm, fuck yourself. It was the same voice. Am I carrying any loot? Do I need to sell? Uh, yes, I do. Let's just make a quick stop to the market. In our uh, assassin clothes, we'll just go to the market. What is it? Dragons? Let me guess. Hello. Someone stole your sweet roll. Afternoon. It's a shame all the smaller bookstores are gone. I guess they just... You went up there? See yourself. Hello. You're in Rindir's staffs. Okay, if you say so. Um, haggle, haggle, haggle. Oh, wow. That's a high disposition. Let's, uh... I've no, I've no idea how, how much is too much. Okay, then. Let's, let's push it even further. Chill Rend. This does two damage. This does three. This does... This does... 
five frost and reduces their frost weakness. This does. Um, I don't know. Let's sell this. You don't expect me to make. Well, fuck you then. And buy this stuff. Fantastic. Oh, she's really putting me on edge. What are you doing? She's just under my table, making a mess. Up. Okie dokie. Get Fifi her own Lego sets. Yeah. I suppose that'll keep her distracted. Rosan is a talent. Kitty needs toy. Kitty has plenty of toys. May I help you? But she's too busy playing with um empty loo rolls instead. <laughs> right, let's head back. Hand this in. Is yours a house cat, Stephen? Very much, yeah. Ragdolls are not a breed which can um can survive outside. They've got no road sense. They're way too kuthy. They'll they'll let anybody pick them up. Somebody would just pick it up and take it home and be like, I like this cat. This cat is mine now. And she would do nothing. They get bullied by other cats. They're too big. They're too slow. They're too clumsy. They can't jump. White cats can't jump. <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't survive. Got no street sense. It fills my heart with warmth. Right, you're annoying me now, actually. What are you doing? Sister. You're deliberately being as disruptive as possible, aren't you? I assume you guys can hear the just rattling in the background. Where is he? Where's Gramps? It fills my heart with warmth to see you again, sister. Does she have a cat tree? She has two. <laughs> so, you infiltrated the Imperial prison, eliminated Vale and Dreth, and killed not one guard. Most excellent. In addition to your standard reward, I present to you this bonus. Behold, the scales of pitiless justice. While carried, the scales will magically enhance your strength, intelligence, and agility, Ooh. but diminish your personality. Oh, but I need that. I've not got enough of it left. I have a special contract that needs fulfillment. In truth, I don't wish to offer it to any other family member. Okie dokie. We're usually called upon to take a life. But not this time. This contract requires us to stage the assassination of a marked man. Uh, my cat enjoys little plastic springs. I read about them and I was going to get some. But I don't trust... I certainly don't trust any of them being bought on Amazon or online because they look cheap as fuck. And I don't want them getting shattered and, you know, little bit shards of plastic in the mouth or anything. Which I was hearing some horror stories about. You'll need to get another cat to keep her entertained. She does not get on well with other animals. So I don't think that's a good idea. You must go to the city of Coral and break into the house of Francois Mottieri. Inside you will find Mottieri waiting for you. You see, Francois Mottieri is a marked man. He owes a considerable sum to the wrong kind of people. So they have sent an enforcer to kill him. Here. You will use this specially poisoned knife to stage Mottieri's death in the Enforcer's presence. Okay. This is an unusual contract. Mottieri... Sure. Good day. Sounds fun. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Get a bunch of cardboard boxes and make a little hamster maze for her. I haven't quite gone as far as like making a maze, but I do have multiple cardboard boxes sitting around. And I did make little forts out of them. And she has a pillow fort over here at the moment, actually, which she's been enjoying for the last few days. Hello? Sh Schemer. Schemer. 
Little rat boy. Cute. I don't really have space to make a full-on maze with the size of boxes we have anyway. Maybe if I had some smaller ones. The hallway's already kind of blocked with it. Charisma can be bought. I had those scales in my inventory for the whole playthrough. Let's actually have a look. What is it doing for us? 38. Right, so we lose two personality, but gain 84, what was it? I can't remember what it increased. Agility and so, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's worth it. Lovely, another crusty face. Mm-hmm. The two cats I would own are either Ragdoll or Siamese. Uh, right, we need a bed. And possibly another quest to do. I don't know if I just want to do Dark Brotherhood quests all night, but... Hi there. Hello! Where's the inn? It's got to be one, right? Yes? Yes? My face is a potato. Good day. Good day. Welcome to Newlands Lodge, the best place to drink in Chadenhall. Not This is a dark elf bar. Fighting is fine with me, too, only... <laughs> okay. This is the Dark Elf Bar. You're not welcome. I do have a bed available. Walk just up the stairs there. Good. Welcome to Newlands Lodge. This is... Fight. What do you have to say about Shaden Hall, I wonder? You seem racist. Let's see what you have to say. Everyone is waiting to see if Farwell and his knights return from inside oh. that dreadful oblivion gate. Hmm? Such... Brave lads. What oblivion gate? I don't know where it came from, but a mysterious gate appeared outside the walls of our city. The way the guards are reacting, it must be a threat. I mean, yeah. They're massing as if bracing for an attack. The portal is just outside the city walls through the west gates if you want to see for yourself. Be careful. There's a gate to the demonic realm of oblivion just outside the city. I'm starting to think it might be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, obviously, you stupid fuck. <laughs> ah, let's close the door. A little bit of privacy. Hmm. Shall we investigate this uh, gate? Apparently, apparently, there's already a group of knights on the job, but uh, we'll see how they're doing. Um, I'm particular to any black cat. Yeah. Black cat with very yellow eyes. I like the look of that. Agility, speed, and... I suppose, just to counteract the, the decrease in our personality. How can I help you today, Personality. Who's talking to me? What? Oh, shit. <laughs> the problem with a high-speed character is you will sometimes, like... Do this! Launch yourself off platforms and the like. Oh, outside the west gate. Let's go have a look. I did not like how her... Uh, did not like how her eyes were shifting. That was creepy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking to Oblivion NPCs. That's just... Uh, how they all are. Fucking creeps. I'm Vorini. I'm guessing you're angling for an invitation to one of my super parties. Well, forget about it. Invitation only. And no invitation for you, stranger. Um, I am perfectly fine with this, you fucking loser. The whole town is on edge with... 
Ganradel sure does have a knack for training dogs. I hate you people. I hate everyone in this fucking... This whole goddamn country. What is wrong with Cyrodiil? How the hell did the Cyrodiilians create an empire? What is... Fucking weirdos. I've come to an oblivion gate dominating the landscape outside Shadenhall. A few Shadenhall guards seem to be patrolling its perimeter. I should approach one of them. I'd advise you to keep your distance from that accursed portal. <laughs> the Cyrodiilian stumbled into an empire. True. As often is the case. Haven't you heard about these gates to oblivion opening up all over Tamriel? Yes. Well, then you know what they're capable of producing. Although nothing has come through ever since Farwell entered. Who? Huh? About two days ago. Count Indaris' son, Farwill, entered the Oblivion Gate with six other men. We haven't heard from them since then. Well, they're probably Count dead. Count the worst, and has posted guards here so we can watch and see if anyone comes back out. At this point, Count Indaris is offering a reward for the recovery of his son. Reward, you say? Inside the gate, or confirmed news of his demise. If you find him... Or the rest of the Knights of the Thorn. Get them out of there. New to these parts, eh? The Knights of the Thorn are a bunch of rabble who fancy themselves true knights. Farwheel formed the group around two years ago. They make grand boasts and talk a good talk. They're just a, a, a they uh, frat house, basically. The work goes to <laughs> it's the Count's son and a bunch of his friends are like, We're knights! We've got a round table and everything! It's a coffee table, but still. It's tolerated because Farwheel is the Count's son. Plain and simple. Most of the time, they lounge around the tavern drinking and making up stories of epic battles with impossible odds that they won. It's all garbage. They never patrol. They never help fight off the occasional bandit that's... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I get it. Um, You know what? This sounds... <sighs> Fun is maybe an overstatement. It's an Oblivion Gate. They're all the same. But at least there's like an actual quest attached to it. I guess we can do this. At least Oblivion isn't riddled with save bugs. Yet. Stolen Valor. Yeah, they are Stolen Valor, the uh, the club. I'm just going to go stock up on some arrows. Just to make sure we don't get halfway through this gate and then run out. Oh dear. Oh dear. The sky is turning demonic. How unfortunate. The March Rider sells and repairs wep we Let me take a look at what you've got. Have a look at my wear. Pop, 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 pop. Um, let's see. Do you have anything better than iron arrows? No, you don't. You suck. Ugh. 40. Actually, I am I am loaded. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm fucking loaded. Be seeing you. Didn't even notice. When the hell did that happen? Um Oh, hold on. Let's Sell some other stuff just before we leave, because there's always good loot in these uh, Oblivion Gates. What do you want? Can I interest you in some? Eh. Oh, what is this? Nah. Nah, what we have is better. Oh, we have two ring slots, don't we? So this increases our sneak. This, we were using this just for that last quest because they all had, um, <laughs> they all had uh, shock spells. I think we'll sell it now. Uh, uh, sell. That's a fair deal. Sell. That's a sell. Sell. A fun sell. You've made a good bit of... Okay, that's us. 
thing. We've got a pretty empty inventory. Yep, 60 out of 160. Let's go. Shiny metal hair. <laughs> Speaking of round table, I rewatched the Excalibur movie quite recently, and it is an amazing piece of British cinema. The sets and costumes are amazing, not historical, but in their context, amazing. I have never seen. Maybe I'll give it a watch. Just gonna go running in. I don't think I need to speak to the count to get the quests. Oh hey Neil. Sorry, I didn't actually um I didn't see you join this the stream. How are you doing? Oh no, it's a fallen knight of the thorn. Anyway, um <laughs> actually, you know what? We're 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 right at the start. I'm going to go straight back and sell this armor, because I have no respect for the dead. <laughs> I like money. Um, I'm shutting them, closing them, and destroying them. Do you get that? You're a, <laughs> you're a guard. You should be doing more than just looking at it, peasant. True. The guards are kind of useless in this game. Well, I mean, they're very, very good at telepathically detecting any crimes that you, the player, commit. But as for, like, you know, stopping the Oblivion Gates or anything? Nah. Nah. Go ahead, Thea. Let's do business. Sorry, I know, like, um, bartering is not the funnest part of streams. Just gonna very quickly. There Goodbye. We go. Crap. I want me a big old Maine Coon cat. I don't know how to spell it. Well, I know what you mean. I've seen some of them actually. There was a. It said it was a cat hotel, but I'm pretty sure it was like. Uh, uh, they were also breeders of Maine Coon specifically. And there was a whole bunch of them in these big um, glass enclosures. Didn't look very happy. They did not look happy to be here. Is that the I love dogs lady? It is! Because once again, there are five voice actors. How did this corpse dress himself? <laughs> He was naked when we left. We come back and he's put a shirt on. I think he's alive. I think he's merely pretending to be dead. I think he might just be dead. <laughs> oh dear. What a racket. We're trying to keep our karmic balance aligned. You know, we murder one person, we go save another. I guess we're following the blood trail? Um... That was strange. My mouse, um, disconnected for a second there. <clears throat> oh, my mouse better not be about to die. I just I just replaced the batteries on my uh, wireless keyboard. And I'm out. They were the last ones. True neutral. Hello. What? Well, we seem to be doing okay damage against these guys. That's nice to see. Why does that dinosaur have, have cutlery? To the bowels. Main Kuns, Kawaii. Ah, uh, yeah? If 
you say so. <gasps> These used to be people, right? <laughs> it's kind of the unspoken fact, but, um... Yeah. Oh. Shut up. Shut up back there. Uh, me, when I first saw that Dino Blade game on TikTok. <laughs> oh my god, I was looking at that just... Um, well, not on TikTok. Um, I was looking into that just yesterday. Because, like, I've seen the animations for that game for, for ages. A, a year or two now, at least. But, like, is he actually making a full... Or they, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Are they making an actual full-on game now? It, it's like this, um... I don't know. Final Fantasy Metal Gear Rising hack and slash game but dinosaurs and it looks great and I want to play it right now <laughs> you wanna you wanna die thank you thank you very considerate oh dear well, I think that confirms that these were, in fact, once people. Um, I suppose we'll take it for now. What counts as saving? I mean, I could save you 5% on your car insurance. Would that count? What? <laughs> um... They're legit making a full-on game around those animations. One of the videos I sent on Discord is an update on the actual process of the game. Oh, cool. I'll check that out after stream. Oh, didn't see him there. You gotta change your name, aren't you? Damn it. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> I'm just going completely out the frame now. Is our archery skill actually? I'm curious. Because we're trying to get this up. 64. 64. 64 Zulane. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's you! I wonder why the fuck I keep like rubber banding back every time I every time I try to dodge. It's this fucking thing keeps hitting me. Fuck you. Plants. He's dead. <laughs> he kind of just flumped backwards. Quick heal. She looks like a little chonker. She is definitely not chonky. She, she was, last time we had her uh, weighed, a little bit underweight, actually. Um, but I've been trying to fatten her up a little bit. 
giving her extra snacks and extra chicken in her bowl. She's just very fluffy. <laughs> That's all it is. She has been a bit, a bit chonky before when when she went to stay with her, uh, with her grandparents for a couple of months. She came back a little bit with a bit of a flabby belly. Oh, what the fuck? What the? What the fuck even was that? I'm not even sure what that was supposed to achieve. Weirdos. Um... Sentient plants? How ridiculous. What's next? Self-aware chocolate? Existential tableware? Racist furniture? Perhaps. All of the above. You know what? I'm fucking sick of doing all the work. Um... Whatever your fucking name was, get in there! I am not remembering this guy. Did you... Kinda suck, you know that. <laughs> Dies from Ligma. <laughs> Dies from a broken heart. You can't explain it. He simply lost the will to live. Down into the pit of clearly evil? Oh dear. Oh shit. Alright. Um uh, ba, 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 ba. You you're gonna be weak to frost, surely. Y you'd think. Maybe not. I guess my destruction skill is just too shit. Alright. Clive, give me a hand, would you? Ooh, do we have any scrolls that could be helpful? Absolutely not. Eek. To be honest, I'm just getting a little bit bored of uh, shooting arrows. That's why I'm mixing it up a bit here. Once again, I love the ragdolls in this game. Fuck. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah, crap, 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 crap. What would be the most racist furniture? Um... Hmm. Bedside table. Um, <laughs> she simply lost the will to live, and about four pints of blood. I've, lo I've located Farwell, apparently, and one other survivor of his group. They look wounded and shaken. I should speak to them and learn what is happening here. It's about time someone got here. What took you so long? Knight of the Thorn. 
We are knights sworn to uphold the laws of Chaden Hall. We fear no being, and we strike fast and true as lightning. Many wish to join our ranks, as we are of the highest echelon. Only a select few may join the finest force ever to grace the lands of Cyrodiil. Until now, we number... So how much effort are we going to put into keeping these guys alive? Maybe like... 5%? 10%? If they die, they die. I set out with the rest of the knights to dispatch this blemish on the face of our fine world. When we arrived, we were overwhelmed. I myself was able to kill perhaps two score of them, but they just kept coming. Only Bremen and I remain alive. However, with you here now, we can take the sigil stone from that citadel and complete our quest for the good of all Chadenhall. Huzzah! Huzzah! Let's get you out of here. You're clearly not equipped to handle this. Are you mad? A Knight of the Thorn never returns home until the mission is done. It's our way. Now. In my father's name, as Count Indoris of Chadenhall, I order you to lead me to that sigil stone. I suggest we use the Raymond Sweep formation. You'll assault, and we'll guard the rear flank. Onward and upward! Huzzah! What's your favourite Dunmer design? Rugged, pompous, or pointy? I'm assuming that's Morrowind Oblivion Skyrim? Rugged, pointy? Um... Obviously, obviously Oblivion. I mean, look at this fine specimen of a vegetable. <laughs> no, um... I don't know. I mean, I, th I think the Skyrim designs are a fairly faithful kind of update of the Morrowind one. Um, what I will say about the Morrowind Dark Elves is a lot of them look like shit. Not like graphically or, or as a design or anything. I just mean they, they look like they've been through a lot. Half of them are missing eyes. Half of them have got big scars on their face. Um, yeah, I don't know. Vardenfell's just a hell of a place, I guess. The important thing to the dark elf design is they gotta have the bit the big old um eyebrow ridges you know they gotta look like um star wars rebels thrawn if you know what i mean the big bumps above the eyebrows it's the voice that works so well with the oblivion look just has entitled cunt written all over it my favorite design was saint jub 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 Um, can I have a quick rest? See if I can get my health and stuff up. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Sneak attack. But I hate enemies where arrows bounce off them. It makes recovering them really awkward. <sighs> Accidental pickpocket. Hear me out, guys. Uh, no. The Skyrim ones, maybe, but no. He's dead. Do we have space to loot? Oh, no. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Shame. There is not a single hear me out in this whole game. There is really not. There is really, really not. <laughs> it might be the most sexless video game ever conceived. <laughs> Imagine if they invented uh, the concept of romanceable 
uh, NPCs in Oblivion, and your only choice was, I love dogs, lady. Or, uh, <laughs> or the adoring fan for the ladies. There you go. There's your, there's your two choices. I don't even understand those things. <sighs> I have never seen a sex or nudity mod for this game. Skyrim? Thousands. Borrowed? A few! <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's not good. Have you, have you searched, um... Does someone want to do the uh, do the honors of uh, Rule Thirty Fouring this game? Not the Elder Scrolls, but specifically Oblivion, and see how many results there are. <laughs> it can't be many, surely not. I hope it's all Joffrey. I'm Brother Joffrey, what do you want? This cannot be! This dick is marvellous! <laughs> just, just pick up the arrows as we go. <laughs> He's dead. Die, damn you. I hope this room actually serves a purpose to our overall goal here. Otherwise, this was completely pointless. Oh no, Bremen is dead. Anyway. <laughs> How respectful. Oh, hello. Shit, shit, shit. Um, 998. You know what? That is not a lot. For a game this old and this, like, mainstream, that's kind of, um... It's kind of bad, and yet at the same time it's still more than there should be. <laughs> Garfield has more. <laughs> it's 97% furry, uh, furry and scaly. You know what? That makes sense. Uh, gotta head out, Stephen. Hope uh, you can be as honourable and brave as the Knights of the Thorn someday. What a, what a high bar to achieve. Oh, come on. How are you doing? Lead on to victory for the Knights of the Thorn. Oh, and you too, of course. The path is yours. Lead. Oh, I thought that was a a flamey. Um, so yeah, this was pointless. Uh, this was completely pointless. Let's head back. I suppose we got a, a tippence of coal. That's it. A few coins. Untrue, Stephen. Garfield underscore series has 760. And Garfield underscore the underscore cat only has 542. I stand corrected.
<coughs> actually. Uh. <laughs> While you're there, Lily, Starfield? Because we've said before, like, uh, R34 entries is a real, like, signifier of the popularity of a game. And now that we're, like, probably past any sort of a peak that game is ever going to have, um, what, what, what's its final count at? Five? I'll say between five and six. <laughs> between five and six. 1.5. 74. Yep, that's, uh... That sounds about right. And one of them is a woman ch Okay. <laughs> We're done now. We're done with this topic. Oh my god. Hello, Oliver. Is this your first time here? No. <laughs> it's, a, it's not a... Not that uncommon of a topic of conversation here at Red Scott Gaming. I dare say so. So how does Gordon Freeman pee in the suit? No. <laughs> Stealth attack. Cannot, I cannot be fucked. Shooting another one of these bastards. I'm going to use all of my bloody arrows on them. Where is he? He might be dead. Uh, no, nope, terrible idea. The scamps shoot fire. This is immune to fire. If you could believe it. No, he's here. Now, if we had a spell that could actually heal people, that would be handy. But instead, he's going to stand Lead on. right next to the goddamn fire turret. Lead on. You want to stop? There we go. Hey. Baldur's Gate 3, 3,454. Honestly... I don't know, would have expected more, but I suppose it's it's not been that long. Right, we can do a quick rest here once again. Heal up. So we have just cleared this whole island, I guess. Uh, and achieved nothing. <laughs> I suppose we got one of our one of our um, knights killed. Uh, we used a bunch of arrows, and I guess we got some skill points. So there's that. Woo! Go me! Right, we'll get back to the, the Dark Brotherhood quest after this, because I just realised um, I haven't done what the thumbnail promised yet. I want to do that quest, because that quest is very fun, <laughs> if I remember right. Now, he's going to die, the, um, 
the guy we're protecting. I 100% expect him to be dead any second now. Oh, he's still going. He's he's still alive. Bring him a medical capsule immediately. Oh wow, he's actually healed up. Maybe he has healing magic, but he only uses it at a certain Ooh. Adramora bow. How are these? Um not as good. That's a shame. Um, yeah, Daedric stuff in this game is, is a little underwhelming, actually. Like in all the other games, Daedric stuff is top tier, but... Did you make that number up, Lily? <laughs> I mean, I know it's going to be a high number, but I, I, I would I would have thought a digit less. That is disgusting. And I hate it. I would have expected a whole digit less. Fucking I I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, he's dead. He wasn't going to survive to the end. I am out. I am out of arrows. This is a problem. What? Being a marksman character in these games, in, in sorry, in this game specifically, where every enemy takes twenty goddamn hits to kill, is becoming a nuisance. Because unless I am carting around hundreds of arrows, I am going to run out. And you've seen how many um, arrows we have found as loot. I think we recovered like three Daedric arrows from one corpse outside, and that's been it. You just don't find them naturally in the wilderness. Well, he died as he lived. A massive tit. Yep, there you go. Three arrows. Wow. This is worthless. These are my own. You can, there's like a percentage chance of recovering any that you hit an enemy with. Adoring fan, four. Good God. What's mental about the AI thing is that Star Wars is only 31,298. That, that's my point. That's why I was saying, like, that's a digit higher than e even some of the highest um, sort of done franchises, I suppose. That was ten times, <laughs> you know. Ugh. You should... You should always have a secondary weapon skill. I do swords and daggers. Well, yeah, I, I'm doing daggers. I just haven't got a particularly high skill. Let's see. Um, oh, no, maybe I'm not. Well, I am using it, but it's not one of my um, major skills, unfortunately. 31. I guess it's not terrible. My destruction is... My destruction magic is six, so that explains why um, <laughs> that was it soothing touch or whatever it was frost magic wasn't very good. It wasn't very good, was it, Gromit? <sighs> why is this hallway got such good lighting compared to everywhere else in this game? Oh no, it's me. 
Did I? I think I accidentally did a, a light spell when I was trying to do something else. Did I? Yeah. Or I don't know. Who knows what I was thinking? Maybe it was deliberate. I do not speak for past me. So one set of, one ramp goes to this door, one ramp goes to a broken platform, which leads to another door. I just saw this guy pick his nose. I don't know if you guys saw it, but one of these dead uh, Dramora definitely just picked his nose and inspected it. Oh, they're going to see me. They're going to see me. Ah, they saw me. I was going to spy on them for a bit. Alright, we're just going to have to... Lead it the whole way to the end here. You know what, we might just run to the end. Item does not have enough charge. Fantastic. Actually worthless. Fuck this. Nope, is that not, not a real not a real body? Okay. It was a trick. Fuck! <sighs> Fuck's sake! I was trying to close the door on them. And now they're just gonna follow me the whole sodding way, aren't they? Um. Drop. Regina, Dino Crisis, 60. It used to be higher. They've purged it, I swear to God. <laughs> I do like how chat has just evolved into... Uh, to this now. Anybody seen any any interesting TV shows or <laughs> anything? Nope, I'm st I'm still over encumbered. I love that. I love. Fucking let me move! Oh my god. Oh, I'm, and I'm going to become over-encumbered the moment I push this... Press this sigil stone, too. Um, oh, no, I need that for this uh, quest. I can't get rid of that for some reason. Uh, oh, dear. All empty. Jolly good. Let's get out of here. Ah, I guess we will report back to the chief and let him know his prick of a son is dead. I'm sorry, your son has been killed. 
hands out Pam for reward. <laughs> he did say that there was a reward just for um, bringing news of his death. Uh, I'm going to start watching Avatar either today or tomorrow. I assume you mean the good one. The one with the blue aliens and whatnot. No. Um, the good one or the shitty cartoon? No, which one, Phil? I, I mean, live action or um, cartoon. Because I, I doubt you're watching the, uh, the blue aliens. Wonderful. How how is our armor doing? It's okay. It's holding up. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's asleep, isn't he? Stupid bastard. Cool cartoon. Stop it. <laughs> it's done. The bit is done. Oh, where the fuck is he? Well met. It's 9am, and what time does the count start his counting job? Fuck, I need, I need, you, I need you to sit down. I, I, got, I, got some, I got some bad news for you. Although I'm concerned about the safe return of my son and the closing of the gate, Please see Aminus Gregory for all of the details. With a possible attack looming, I must be free to make preparations. Please, with a... Okay, okay. Well met. As always, you're a welcome sight. If the guards don't do something... Until we meet again, may your um, travels be safe in the road... Who? Who do you want to be talked to? Please. Although I'm concerned... Arminius Grigori. Father Grigori. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Can I get some context? Aye. So, I wanted to go tell the Count... That his, the gate is closed and his son is dead. And he's like, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you. I'm too concerned about this gate outside the city. The one that you have closed. Hey. Was it the guard? I'm guessing, maybe. I didn't clock if he had a name or not. I just assumed he was called guard. One of these guys? Guard, guard, guard. Oh, there he is. Oh, of course! I just had to find the guy who looked like all the other fucking guys. Except this one had a name. Please speak to Aminus. No, the other one. I'm trying. I'm fucking trying. I'm honest. Done it. But what of Farwell? He has been... I'm sorry. Farwell has been slain. Then it's a sad day in Chaden Hall. The knights were boastful louts, but they didn't deserve to be killed. I'll stay here and do a final sweep of the area. You're to report to the Count directly, as he wishes to speak with you. <sighs> Chaden Hall will mourn his law. Count Indoris is waiting. In future Bethesda games, they would make it so that if you skipped a step such as not speaking to generic guard man and went straight to the count, you could progress the quest. Instead of having to do it step by step in this stupid, unintuitive way. I was told that the count would have a reward for news of his son. His son was dead, I brought his signet ring to the count, and then I get told, No, you're not allowed to talk to me yet. You pleb, go talk to the fucking guard. For uh, you know. You know I'm right. Of 
quest design. Am I right, Scoob? I'm pleased to finally meet the savior of Chadenhall. <laughs> and although the death of Farwell saddens me, I know you How did, did you the know? best you could. Why is everybody telepathic? I realize he was trying at times, and he spoke before he thought, but he was still my son. He was I'm a prick. Sure he was difficult to travel with, and I respect your patience. Whereas others would have left him to die. I'm sure you fought at his side. Hey, HD. Your actions are duly noted, and your reward will be in gold. I thank you for your sympathy. Thank you. You are truly worthy of all the praise being given to you. On second thought, you keep it. You were the last to try. I won't take no for an answer. I thank you on behalf of all the citizens of... 225 gold. That was worth it. Well met. <laughs> I guess. Not really. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can never decide what's like a good... <laughs> what is a decent reward in, the, in these games ever? It's like the old Fallout 3 problem that we're having. You just disabled the nuke in the middle of Megaton. You saved us. Everyone here have 100 caps. It's like, uh, really? Is that... I could just kill you and sell your stuff for three times that, you know? <laughs> the economy is junk. It is. Right. Where is our next quest? It's in Coral. Coral! We'll swing by the market on the way. Just watched a funny video on Shyamalan's Airbender film. Um, I do appreciate a well done uh, dunking on a bad film, especially with actual wit. True. A pleasure to speak with. Now, this guy. May I enter? Yeah, this is the guy who gives us a really good deal, so that's why I'm coming here first. Um, water breathing on self. That's cool, but I don't need it. An excellent bargain. Oh, we need our rose before I forget. Uh, amulet of luck. Fortify eight points of luck or fortify... Ugh, speechcraft. Fucking useless. Speechcraft is separate from um, your mercantile skin, right? It's, it's skill, back. right? Uh, unless I'm getting my Elder Scrolls games mixed up. Yeah, it's separate. So all Speechcraft does is determine how good we are at the, the weird pie game. Where are you? <laughs> They're trying to get people to like you more. Pretty useless. Young Coral has been telling stories about the burnt man again into town. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I think it, yeah. I think if our personality skills a bit higher, that can help. Have with, a look um, at my wares. Buying I'm sure and selling there's something though. to suit you. You know what? Yes, silver arrows. Let's let's upgrade. If we can. Nine hundred gold. No deal. Fuck you then. Hold on. You know what? You you, you know what? You know. Another. What? I'm listening. Let's try to get her to like us, shall we? Um, I don't know. Which, oh, there we go. Joke. She likes a good Don't try joke. To manipulate me. That's good to know. What a great story. You can't. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. Uh, da, 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 da. Well done. Shit. Shit. Not now. You're... That's great. Fuck. How's it's it going? Not gone well. I like that. A lot. She hates being admired because she knows not she's now. an ugly cow. Not later. 
Not ever. She uh, doesn't like you that. Doesn't well fuck done. I'm fucking anywhere with this. Oh, that's great. That's is don't try really. Interesting. <sighs> well done. That's just t Oh, don't try to Oh, like I'm getting nowhere with this fucking shitey mini game. Well done. Where'd you get that? You can't. Don't talk such rot. That's really funny. And, and it is. I do know what I'm doing as well. It's not that I'm just randomly guessing. It's just that we are getting really, really Don't bad luck your for a, you're wasting your breath. the things. Because we want the big one here and we want the small one here. What and nonsense. it's too much fucking... It's too much effort to explain for people who don't know <laughs> how this works it's just a, a shit it's a shitty mini game it's a really shitty mini game that not oh please that'll do we we gain six percent that's as what good as we're gonna I get interest you? all right let me buy some silver arrows please you've got to be Okay. Gonna head out. My buddy's streaming Hi-Fi Rush. Oh, I see how it is. How are you I know where your loyalties are. Oh, that's fine. Have fun. Which Elder Scrolls is considered the best? I hear it's a three-way tie between Morrowind, this, and Arena. Um, I don't know if there is like a a, a pretty. What I'm trying to say. I don't know if there's like a, a consensus on this at all. Depends what, what people played first <laughs> is a lot of the case. Like I would say Morrowind was the best. Um, I'll, but a lot of people haven't played it. I'm sure some people say Dag Daggerfall maybe? I haven't really heard many people praising Arena. Arena is kind of a bit too rudimentary. You know. Like, the, the lore isn't really consistent with anything that came later. The world is not consistent at all. <laughs> Daggerfall seemed a bit more, um, fleshed out. Daggerfall Unity has been getting a lot of love, love recently. Really? Um, do I need to break into this? I don't know. Do I need to break into it? Whatever. The man lives here and he wants me here. But I gotta break in before I continue the fucking quest. Whatever. Make me do stuff. Making me have to play video game in this video game. Not fair. I'm being a funny bugger when I say Arena. Skyrim is the one with the biggest audience, I suppose. Yeah. It also has the most well, um, detractors. Hello. You must be the one Lucien Lachance told me about. I've been expecting you. We haven't got much time, I'm afraid. <laughs> I borrowed quite a bit of gold from some underworld types. I, uh, I missed a payment. Now they don't even want the money. They say I insulted them. They've sent an enforcer to kill me. His name is Hides his Heart, and he's on his way here now. That's why I hired you. So you can fake my death. That's a Morrowind reference. There's an Argonian in Morrowind called Hides his Eyes. You know, a fun little quest. Well, when Hides his Heart gets here, I'll put on a little act. You'll cut me with your poison knife, and that vile enforcer will think I'm dead. You must then flee from Coral, and Hides his heart must not be killed. That way he can go back and tell his employers I'm dead. If you wait a day, my body will be put on display in the Coral Chapel hmm. Undercroft. Well, I remember You'll this quest me then now. And administer the antidote. Oh, I do. I remember this quest now. I know what happens. <laughs> here any moment. 
Get ready. Oh, I do hope this works. Voice acting. Right. Poison blade. Do I still have it? I think this is the one. I, I hope this is the right blade. I <laughs> Otherwise, this is going to go horribly. Mokeri, I know you're in there. My employers are mostly sweet. I'm coming in and you can beg for your life. <laughs> Not that we'll do you any good. <laughs> um, pee -pee 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 -pee. I don't know what it is. I just can't get on with Bethesda's R style of RPGs. I need the urgency and direction of a story, I think. Maybe I'm just lacking in imagination. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I think in a lot of the cases, a lot of games, it's like whatever you grew up with. Because if you if you jump to a different style of game in your in your in your old age, like we are now, um, it's just hard to get on with. I tried to get into Morrowind last year, but I kept struggling in an it kept struggling in an early game cave. How early are you talking here? Because in the case of Morrowind, you like I think the later games really prime you wrong for how to play Morrowind because you are not supposed to be going on quests at level one. You are not supposed to be. Like, I'm going to get off the boat and immediately join the Fighters Guild and start taking down bandits. Why are they all killing me? Um, yeah, you're, you're garbage. You're trash, Brock. Um, you've got... <laughs> it takes you a couple of levels and some early gear. Basically, whenever I play Morrowind, I start out thinking, I am a street rat. I, I am trash. I am a, a beggar. Um, I'm going to spend my first couple hour, well, first half hour or so just stealing everything I can from Balmora uh, and selling, selling all of these sticks of celery and bits of cutlery. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to take everything from the census and excise office in this, um, Sedanine and sell all that just so I can buy my first set of armor. <laughs> you, you know... In Oblivion, you, you get handed, like, here, have some iron armor. Here, have some, you don't like that? Have some leather armor. Have a battle axe. Have a bow. Have some arrows. All before you're even done with the tutorial. In Morrowind, you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Um, you got you got to work for it. You got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps in Morrowind. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's very important that you use the weapon skill that you actually have some degree of training in because you know that swinging a sword and not being able to hit anything that's probably why because you've got four skill in a short blade or long blade or whatever you're using and also sorry last thing make sure you've got a stamina bar another thing that is lost in the later games you could be completely out of breath in oblivion or skyrim and it does not affect your ability to hit things in morrowind it absolutely does you need some uh some green on that bar Otherwise, you're just going to be missing constantly. Motiera, I am here to exact payment. There's your, there's your advice. <laughs> From the Morrowind Pro, apparently. Oh no, what am I to do? An underworld enforcer and a dark brotherhood assassin, both here to kill poor Francois. The dark brotherhood? Oh, you have been a naughty boy, Motiera, haven't you? Stand aside, assassin. Motiera is mine. My employers demand it. So, you are here to kill Motieri, eh? Well, he's mine, and nothing will stand in my way. This ends here. Uh oh. Okay, he's gonna attack me. So, I need to wait, what did you say, two days? One day? As expected, I must now flee from Charl. Alright, I gotta, I gotta lose the trail first. I think there's a cave or a mine or something outside of town. I'll go hang there. A new Alien movie is coming out this year and the trailer looks really good. It does. Wait a day. Okay. Um, I guess we could go um, hide in Oblivion for a day. <laughs> What's a better hiding place than just... In a, in a literal another plane of existence. Let's go.
Don't worry, we're not doing another Oblivion Gate. I'm just using it as a um, Flee to Mexico equivalent. <laughs> Here we go. Can we wait? Ah, shit. Right, no. Didn't think of this. Okay. There we go. A lot of battering crabs and rats. That's early game Morrowind, yep. My first RPG was Final Fantasy. Yeah, that is what I thought RPGs were. Playing Mass Effect and Dragon Age required some adjusting. Mm-hmm. Probably should have followed what they told me to do, but I figured a cave right outside the first town was safe. <laughs> yeah, you'd think, wouldn't you? Again, it's it's we've been trained wrong by um by playing these newer games and then going back and thinking, this is a video game. Surely this this cave right outside the starter town is made for new players. Goes in, immediately dies. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Actually, no. I would I would love to stream Morrowind. Oh my god, look who it is! I completely forgot about him. <laughs> Where'd he go? Yes! Oh, great and mighty Grand Champion? Is there something you need? Can I carry your weapon? Shine your boots? Back rub, perhaps? Golly, you're the best! I'm going to follow you and watch you and worship the ground you walk on. Let's go! Yes. Um... Yeah, New Alien movie. Um... I could have done without the recreation of Ripley stepping out of the elevator. Actually, absolutely 100% what went through my mind as well. And I'm thinking, I really hope they're not doing a Terminator Genesis. Is that the right one? Terminator. Whatever the last Terminator movie was, where it was just T2 again. Right down to, like, recreating iconic scenes and moments. Just with, you know, remixed versions of the same characters. Um... I really hope they're not trying to make a Ripley 2.0. Like if there's if there's a a third act main female lead you know suits up, gets the gets the pulse rifle and charges into an alien nest or something. If they're doing that, ooh, please don't. Please don't 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 do something do something different. Because it looks great. I'm I've got high hopes for it. Unlike every other alien movie from the last, like, 20 years. Terminator Dead Horse. Yeah, that one. That's the one. Uh, Romulus could be alright. I reckon it will follow up. It will be a follow-up to Covenant. I guess. I don't know. I, would, I wouldn't mind having the out. To just May I help you? discount Prometheus and Covenant from canon. <laughs> like, it, the Alien franchise is already a bit of a pick and mix. You know, you kind of just... Do you want to consider Predators to be canon to the Alien franchise? Then by all means, accept the Alien vs. Predator movies. If you don't, if you want to keep them separate, then by all means, just don't. Then, whatever works... 
And I'm also quite happy just ignoring Prometheus. I don't even hate the movie. I think it's it's okay, but it also just it just doesn't really add anything to for it. it doesn't add anything to the overall eth uh, mythos to me. There he is. Administer the antidote, and he should spring right back up. On you go. Oh, go pick your nose. Get up. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. I'm a bit stiff, but quite fine otherwise. Ah, yes, the I'm a bit stiff. My family members are buried here, you know. Which um, leads me to something I may have failed to mention before. My ancestors will see my revival as a desecration of their tomb. This undercroft is, well, quite cursed. Any desecration will cause my ancestors to rise from their graves and defend their resting place. I can hear them coming as we speak. Come. Must protect me. Escort me to the Grey Mare where I can buy passage out of Coral. Ah, here they come. Oh, my, Aunt Margaret. You're looking the worse for wear. Voice acting. Oh, there they are. Okay, I, th I thought it was ghosts. Um, which would be good because I do have silver arrows, which was a complete happy coincidence. Otherwise, um, my weapons would do no damage. Maybe it is ghosts. Maybe if you're lower level, or ghosts. My god, I was hoping that these arrows would make enemies go down a little bit quicker. God damn it. Out of here. Hi there. What's new with you? <gasps> Hold on. Dogs lady is around here. It's you. Hi. Mm, it's not you. Blessings. I'm Orig Grabargle. Orig Grabargle. Bye. Hello there. What can I do? I am Orog Grobargle. Uh, heal on self, on self, on self. I think I'll take it. Um, heal up to twenty-five. Heal up to. Oh dear. I don't think I can use them. Actually, never mind. They either require a higher restoration skill, or... Oof, yeah, my restoration's not good. You know what? I should actually spend some of my... My wealth, my fortune, getting some training. Because, like, you are supposed to do that in the Elder Scrolls games. It, it, leveling up is a bit of a grind if you're just doing it purely through use of the skills. But if you find a trainer and just be like, here, have, have some money, make me better, then <laughs> that's the best use of your money. I hated zombies in this game. Scary as fuck. Ah, the Grey I Mare. From here I will be able to arrange for trans... Yeah, there you go. Francois is forever... Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, kind of same, actually. And I remember first time I played this game as a kid. was a bit freaked out by the, the first zombie you meet. I hear you. Safe travels. Goodbye. Stop making friends. Oh, let's uh, level up, actually. What? What? I have a room ready if you... The room's yours. Good day. God, that's the... Uh, YouTube's gonna hate being in this room. <laughs> Looks like some from, someone from Shrek, yeah. Romulus will have its work cut out for it to be as good as Alien Resurrection, which I genuinely love. Uh, Jean-Pierre Junier is a unique director. <laughs> I kind of hate that movie, but fair. At least it did something different. Sort of. Well, not really, in some ways. Uh, yeah, 
Let's stick with that. Well met. Right. Hello. I'm going to quickly check. Is Adoring Fan a big or little spoon? He's a cuck. He sits in the cuck chair. <laughs> in the corner of the room. Um, Oblivion Trainers. I'll see if there's any in this town before we leave. Can I search by town? Yeah. Oh, uh, wrong mouse. Whoops. Uh, alteration. Armorer. No. Athletics? Nah. Block. Conjuration? Maybe. We'll have a look. We'll see if he will train me or if we need to join the Mages Guild. The Mages Guild. The Mages Guild. Who else we got? Good to see you. Oh, there's a destruction trainer in Castle Coral. I'm listening. What's his name? Good to see you. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. You've got a lot to learn. Alteration. Nah. Good day. What Hello. You? Hello. You too. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Good that you want to get better. Mysticism. Nah. Take care. Actually, hold on. Are you the guy? Are Excuse you the guy? Me. My name is Angalmo. Are you the guy? Do you know anything about these weird roots that keep yelling at me? I can't help you if you don't show me what you're talking about. Okay, never mind. Take care. <laughs> Greetings, Brother Bosna. I'm Cunt to Melorius Floor. I'm Cunt. Always keep your magical equipment charged. Oh. Uh, oof, bloody hell. A thousand gold to recharge. All right, fine, 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 fine. What's going on? Jesus. Oh my god. F fuck, fuck you guys. I'm... I... My mouse has disappeared. There we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I avoid those things okay, so the Mages Guild are kind of iffy. They will train you if you can get to the guy, uh, but a lot of them are in rooms that are locked to non-members, so that's... that's fun. Let's just cut to the chase. Any marksman trainers? Bruma, Skingrad, I'm about to... Oh dear, my laptop's about to die. One second. Uh, ooh. We're at 66. Meliwin in Dunbarrow Cave. Well, I don't want to just... Nah, it feels like cheating. I don't want to just search where the secret hidden trainer is. If we find them, we find them. I'm only checking anybody in, like, major towns. Because I guess it makes sense in character. You should be able to be like, Hey, who's who's somebody who trains in this skill? Oh, yes. Grog, Grog Baba, Grog Minge. Over in Addenville. He's a good armorer. Grog Gromalag, 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 Gromalag. You need to find a Aelid stones, or whatever they are called. They will charge your weapons. Ah, okay. Thank you for the hint, because I do know where I can get plenty of those. I just tend to sell them. <laughs> I didn't know they charged weapons. Never really gave a shit about um, enchant enchantments um, before. To be fair, that's something I've learned through playing the other games. Skyrim. 
come to appreciate enchantments more. Ah, so Mottieri has escaped. Well done. As payment, I am pleased to award you this amulet, Cruelty's Heart, as well as another advancement in rank. They're so edgy, aren't I they? I hereby bestow upon you the title of Eliminator. Yep. Your blood is cold, your heart hard. You exemplify everything the Dark Brotherhood stands for. I present to you now this... I'm just here because I feel too you awkward to quit. ...behind the abandoned house above. <laughs> Use it to gain hidden, quick access. Again, I want to make it clear, our character is not like... Not like these losers. She, she's not here because I like killing people. He he he. Cruelty's heart. Sithis. Hoo -hoo. I'm here just because I feel too awkward saying no. <laughs> well now, you are an ambitious one, aren't you? I'm afraid I have no more contracts for you. Our time working together has come to an end. Hey, dreamed animal 29. Joystick thumb up controller 100 controller your contracts from now on yeah, thumb up joystick for you as we speak before you go however i intend to make good on an offer i made some time ago as a vampire i may pass my gift on to others as i say uh, you have served me well and i choose now to extend that gift to you uh, shall i use my dark powers and turn you into a vampire no thanks not right now, thank you. <laughs> yes, I can understand your trepidation. If you ever change your mind... I don't think I will. Goodbye. Be seeing you. Do you want to become a pasty old prune like me? Where is the next guy? I actually missed who he said we were meant to be talking to. Ah, oh, it's you. You seem all right. Ah, greetings. I have been waiting for you. As Vicente surely told you, your time working... From now on, you will receive all assignments directly from me. In fact, your next contract is available. Vampire now. cat. It makes me ugly, though. I think soul gems with souls in them, yeah. I know that's the normal way of charging weapons. The problem is that there's not an, an easy... For us, anyway, there's not, like, a, a farmable way of getting charged soul gems. In Skyrim, I would just get the um, Azura Star, keep it as the Black Star, and then just um, soul trap bandits, because I don't give a fuck. Send them to the soul care, even if it is a fate worse than death. <laughs> Infinite source of charge. I'm a monster. In the Imperial City, there lives a high elf. Oh, wow, okay, be there's a lot of quests. So I do not think we're getting to the quest I hoped we would tonight. Are you interested? Okay. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Your target is a high elf named Phalian. They're always called Phalian. The Imperial Phalian, Fallon, long walks. Fialin. Fallon. That's a character in Dungeon Meshi. We don't know which distance. Freerin. That's a character in the other elf anime. Frequence or anything about his schedule. This contract will require a bit of detective work. I suggest you speak to your fellow brothers and sisters and okay, okay. Ah yes, there is one more thing. The Imperial City is also home to an Imperial Legion captain named Adamas. You talk too slow. Do you know no, I don't know who that is. Philida has dedicated his life to eradicating the Dark Brotherhood, and he becomes rather irate when our do when that happens. He tends to make our lives uncomfortable. If possible, do away with Phalian some place out of the way. Def this will make it look like a simple murder. Okay. Right. So we don't know where the target is. Talk to some of the other members to I give know us hints. What you're thinking. Gogron. He's too big to be sneaky. <laughs> well, you're right. Me, I like to just go in and hack my targets to pieces. Ha! Yes, I get it. You're an orc and you live to stereotype. Um, beep, 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 beep. Do you know anything about my contract? Now, this is what I'm talking about. You kill him up close, face to face, and you still get the bonus. <laughs> I wish all the contracts were like that. I've had this conversation with Sam. To be honest, we, we both like to play Orc in these games. I think him especially. I think that's his favourite race. 
He always likes to play orc against type. It's, it gets a little boring being orc, big axe warrior, doesn't it? Sometimes you want to be a you want to be a, a mage, a scholar, an orc assassin. You know what I mean? Hello, dearest sister. Don't touch me. Know what I do? Talk to Falian. Learn who he is. Maybe then you can lead him to a secluded place. Then, when you're alone, you know. <laughs> um. Good luck, sister. I, I don't think we're talking about the same thing here. Oh, hi, a fellow cat. Good again. I thought I made it clear I'm not looking for a friend. All right, you rude. Away from me, house cat. Uh, look at that fur. What a disgrace. He's looking bad about my fur. You again. Bye, Sithis. I don't have all day. Hurry it up. Uh, I'm just having a quick check. Anything. Open easy lock. Or, you know what? Just because I hate lock picking that much. <laughs> Save me a bit of hassle. Ooh. Oh, requires illusion skill 50. Yeah. You know what? I'll have, actually, I'll buy it now. Maybe we'll work on our illusion skill in future. Um... Away from me, house cat. This orc against type talk makes me wonder, have you played the Warcraft? I have not. Um, oh, I've only seen the Warcraft film, which was fine. Yeah, I heard it was fine. Can we use... Yeah, we can, we can use the quick exit now. That's nice. Right. Um, you guys, uh, you guys are still happy watching. I'm not planning on quitting quite yet. Um, I'm happy to keep going. Maybe, maybe for one or two more Dark Brotherhood missions at most. Hi there. Hi there. We need to normalize RPG NPCs being polite. It gets really annoying in some games where everyone's a rude, just rude. Everyone's just rude. Chayden Hall sleeps more soundly tonight. Thank. What can I interest you in? Get this a little higher. Um, she doesn't buy any of the things I want to sell. Oh no, she does. Cool. A fine. Tr cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm probably gonna head off now. Have me shower and then rest up for my five thirty start. Oh, yep, that sounds like a thing. You drive a hard bargain. Thanks. See you next Monday, isn't it? Yep, yep. No stream next week. Take care. Uh, sorry, no stream there this Sunday. No normal public stream. I guess they're, they're both public streams now, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I'll just be back to Oblivion again on Monday. time is it? It is late at night. That's a bugger. Uh, we probably want to wait till day when at least he's up and about. I must find a high elf named Phelion and kill him if there's anyone. Okay, yeah. Do I know anything else? I don't even have a map marker, which I kind of like, honestly. It's very rare in a, in a Bethesda game <laughs> to not just have a compass telling you exactly where to go. Well, a post Morrowind uh, Bethesda game. I work as a god. I understand either of Lenormand enjoys jumping off high things. Um, okay. Take care. Why is everyone so fucking weird in this you? one? 
goodbye. Take care. Later. Hmm. Right, let us wait until morning, where everyone's hopefully walking around town. Or... Oh! I thought it was a bit weird. We, we had a very, very quick wait. I do not fear death. <laughs> do a flip! Okay. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Please don't be the first sign of this game falling apart and all. Right, anyway. Uh, 12 hours, that should do. Argonian voice equals Italian chain smoker. <laughs> mm-hmm. I do not like how Argonians look in this game. I mean, I was—I don't like how any race look in this game. Um, don't clip that. <laughs> I do not like how any race look. What is it, citizen? Yes. Um, but yeah, Argonians especially. Uh, I don't know what it is. Especially, I don't know. It was that one we saw, hides his heart. The one in the iron armor just looked really fucking weird. He just looked like a dude. Just a normal dude wearing a rubber mask on his face. <laughs> Steven, what is your favourite race? In the game as well. None of that. Uh, <laughs> and the answer is Dunmer. Um, yeah, Argonians in, uh, in Morrowind look cool. Because well, they've got this different body shape as well. Like the uh, digitigrade legs. The dog leg, you know, double jointed. Um, they don't have that in Skyrim, but the overall like face design of them is much nicer. They look like um, actual reptile people instead of whatever the fuck they are in this. Weird toad rat things. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, wait, why do we have a... Why do we have a compass marker? Did I speak too soon? I guess we do have a compass marker then, that's a shame. I like that every form of Khajiit is canon, yeah. There's just lots of different types of Khajiit. Even the ones from, um... Arena or Daggerfall? Whichever one. Where they're just furries. They're, they're just, um, cat girl Twitch streamer, or cat boy Twitch streamers. Just normal people, but with the cat ears, you know? Just otherwise completely normal humans. The fuck is he? Astinia Atius. He's that Imperial Watch Captain that's always chasing after the Grey Fox. Chasing after sh- Don't care. I can't make up my m You too. Argonians and this look like Trandoshans? Eh. What do you think? I guess. That's I see that. On a been some this humble Legion soldier is at your service. Move along. Hmm. Am I just being, am I, am I being gaslit by the compass marker? It led me here, and then as soon as I got here, it disappeared. Can I help you, citizen? I don't know, can you? Farewell, citizen. It's, it's you. Uh, let's check the tavern, I suppose. The Altmer have powerful wizards. It could be a dangerous situation. Well, I was hoping this would be a quick quest, but it's not looking that way. Welcome to the King and... A wealthy gentleman in the Talos Plaza district named Umbacano collects alien artifacts. Perhaps he has use for someone like you. I'll keep that in mind. Not for now. 
Morning. Oh, hello. Um, any elves? No. I am looking for an elf man. Well met. If the guy is just in his house and never leaves, we're going to have trouble. The NPCs talk too much. Yeah. Speak. You know what? We were told to ask around the... See, see what I mean? Hold on, we're getting a blue compass marker again. Okay, we'll follow this compass marker and then I'm going to do my plan B. Sorry, blue. I said I said blue. Apparently, I don't know colors. Um. <laughs> so that's the newspaper. Trade goods, merchandise, feed bag. It's it's almost midday. It's almost lunchtime. Maybe he's here. Hmm. Put on the feed bag. Shut I up. Oh, somebody knows something. Falian? Yes, I know who he is, but I'm not really in the habit of discussing such things with strangers. I see how it is. All right. We'll see how far we can get telling him jokes. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Don't waste your flattery on me. Stop talking. Because we need them to stop talking. I want so that we can I see don't. his reaction. Sorry, I'll try. I'll try and explain it for those who don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Each square has a different react. Uh, each uh, quadrant has a different reaction to him. He hates being admired. He likes jokes. He's impartial to coercion, and he kind of dislikes boastfulness. So what you want to do is the maximum effect for the one that you you know you obviously want. So we want big here and small here, which is of course the opposite of what we are getting. I won't fight you. I like that. I don't talk such rot. <laughs> That's really funny. That, d I doubt it. Um. What nonsense. I doubt you. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. I doubt <laughs> Not now. That's enough. All right, that's as much as we can that get. That works for me. Any good? Thalian, you say? Why, yes, I know who he is. Rather distasteful fellow, actually. I believe he lives at the Tiber Septum Hotel. The Tiber Septum. That's in the Talos Plaza district. I know. The patronize me. Farewell. Talos Plaza. The NPCs talk too much. My problem with NPCs, uh, like the way some of the dialogue in this game, and to be fair, a lot of games, is I, I can't remember which game I was talking about this with, but you walk into a shop or you speak to a merchant. Me, someone who walks, who who um, works in a shop. Someone walks in. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and then after they've browsed around for a minute, anything you're looking for in, uh, in particular? That's it. That's like that's like average interaction in this. Hail and well met, stranger. I am Pontificus Cerilius, proprietor of the ware store of, of witch, whiskies and witchcraft. I sell the best hardware and the best prices. If you need something, I have it. And they just go on and 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 on. Would you fuck off, buddy? What's the matter? They really don't like that I quit their cult. Oh, that looks like him. Interesting. Or not. I'm racist, apparently. <laughs> Sees elf. That's him. And then there are five other NPCs talking in the background. Yep. What can I do for you? Thalian? Oh, I know him all right. A waste of life, that one. He lives here, you know, with his sweetheart, a trainer. 
Oh dear. What that poor girl sees in him, I'll never know. A trainer pays for their room, their food, everything. She's quite wealthy, I believe. Phalian used to have money. Used to be quite a gentleman, too. But that was before he took a fancy to the, you know, the skooma. Ooh, skooma, you say? Now, Phalian's hardly ever here. He's off using skooma or wandering the city looking for some, I imagine. Okay. He comes back every night to be with a trainer. But only for a few hours, I swear. That high elf is going to wind up dead if he... Hopefully. Right, I suppose, rather than trailing around town, we'll wait till night. Maybe 6 p.m.? Or I can't quite get to 6. Close as we can. Are you a trainer by any chance? Yes, my lady. How? Well, you have a very stretched face, holy shit. Phalian? He... He's my sweet, my true love, but I don't know why. Hmm. Okay, she has more yes. to say. She's being cagey. Goodness, what can I say? Uh, you don't like that. You don't mind that. Not that, I doubt. Don't make me laugh. Sure. Shit. Don't oh, fuck. Laugh, did this wrong. Please. Did this wrong. I doubt. Did this wrong. Did this wrong. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I doubt it. Good one. Really not. Blow away, windbag. Uh, maybe I'll just start throwing money at people instead, because this is so fucking tedious. Sure, that's cute. I doubt it. Talk. Really now, you're... All right. I... Please, I... I don't mean to get emotional, but I feel I can trust you. All he thinks about, all he cares about is Skooma. He was a fine young man once. I followed him a few times to see where he goes. He walks around the city looking for Skooma. Lorkamir's house, where's that? In the Elfin Gardens district. I think the house is deserted. Thank you for listening. You're such a good friend. Yes, yes, I'm now going to kill your husband. Um... Doing our favor, really. Good to see you. Elven Gardens, Hi, Elven Gardens. How does the day greet you, friend? Hmm? Oh, wrong door. Uh, you know, whatever. Fast travel. Right, now we gotta just do the thing where we scan every door to see which one is called Larkmere's house. Uh, oh. Actually, you know what? Bad, 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 bad idea. Because in case there's somebody right on the other side of the door when I open it. <laughs> How is skooma different from alcohol? Uh, skooma isn't distilled. It's not alcoholic. It's made from moon sugar, which is pixie dust, I guess. It's it, it, like not not in the the literal sense. It's <laughs> I think it's just pure. It's cocaine. I don't know. It's cocaine juice. Okay. energy drink. It's monster energy. Gotta steal the skooma too. Very good point. Well, this one wasn't me. Has... Valian? Fallon? Whatever his name is. Has he been a bad boy? Oh my god. Stop giving me locked chests. It's 
Don't give me locked things. Ah! <laughs> the pain! I wince. I fucking wince every time. There's nothing inside! It's slightly annoying. <laughs> it's slightly annoying! Why even make... Ah. Ah, why even? I hate this game. I hate this game so I hate Bethesda. Here, have a high difficulty locked chest. Let's spend five minutes breaking. I'm not even doing it. I'm not even fucking doing it. I'm not falling for this. Nothing. Yep, nothing. Not worth it. <laughs> God, there is just piss all in this house. I assume he killed the, the dealer and has already taken all the skooma. Which means that the trail has gone cold. There's nothing to interact with here. Right. Hold on. <gasps> oh. What? 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 <laughs> I didn't see a thing. What? So he didn't take all the skewer. Right. Hmm. How are you? Where the fuck to go now? Where to go now? See, you too. How good? Does he still go there even though the dealer is dead? I guess we could sit and wait for him. I just don't know what time of the day he comes here. Why do you play it if you hate it? I'm, I'm, I'm overstating. I'm overstating the fact. It is just very annoying, and, and especially Bethesda games. They're very prone to doing this. Fallout 3 does it. Skyrim doesn't really do it as much, but um, I guess it's the older ones. You'll get these chests. You'll get security terminals in Skyrim that open a door and oh, it's Skyrim and Fallout that'll open a door and you go inside and it's like three bottle caps Woo Is he ever going to show up here? My journal entry seems to imply that this is where you're meant to kill him. He's like, he comes here several hours a day. This will be a good place to kill him. But... He just ain't... appearing. Spoke too soon. I assumed that was him. <laughs> Could have been someone else. Again, with the weird um, texture breaking. Very strange.
That's a bit creepy. Uh, I think I'll I think I'll find another way. Well, that quest took a little bit longer than I would have hoped, so we're probably going to stop there. What a shame. I just wanted to get to the whodunit quest. The High Elf Thalian now swims in the maelstrom of darkness at the feet of our dread father. Edge Lord. And because of the discretion you exercised, Captain Philida will not suspect the Dark Brotherhood was involved. And here is your reward and bonus. Both have been well earned. Go now and rest. And oh, you gotta get the skeleton. That is a very good point. I think is that. Is that a Thieves Guild thing in this game, or is it a, just a, a Daedric Shrine? I seem to remember it being a Daedric Shrine to um, Nocturnal, and it's around here somewhere. I, I don't know why, it's been so long, but I've got that in my brain. Or maybe that's just where I, maybe, maybe I just got it around there, and I remember there being a locked chest. Which I was using on. I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong. It'll be nocturnal. Azura will be Azura Star. I assume. It's certainly not um not the skeleton key. I wish I had a skeleton key. Don't need to unlock anything. It would just be cool to have a key made of bone. True. I didn't pick up another quest, did I? That's fine. We're not going to do that tonight. Um, I'm curious, though. I, I just want to test my own memory to see if I remembered correctly from 20 years ago <laughs> or however long it's been. Uh, 16 years ago? Maybe? Hold on. I don't know. Something like that. Was I in the right ballpark for Nocturnal Shrine? Meow. Don't worry, I'm about to end stream. I'll come give you whatever the hell you want. <gasps> Crab. I don't know why Leowin? Yeah, I don't know why Leowin is so surrounded by gates, but... I mean, obviously, this is the this is like the Argonian city, isn't it? And as we know... Argonians are the MVP during the Oblivion Crisis. Um, the Dromora are terrified of them. <laughs> Just having a wee look around this part of the map, see what there is. Dark Fathom Cave. I'm sure we can come here another time. Not that caves are ever interesting. I think this is the end of the map. If I go any further south from here. To the north, though. You think I'm right, I'm in the right area, but... I'm just gonna ignore you or throw um, skeletons at you just to level my conjuration but there are so many oblivion gates what the hell is happening it's like some kind of crisis of oblivion gates one might call it an oblivion crisis holy hell Actually, um, the further you get into the main quest, the more and more gates start getting added to the map. Is that why there's so many? 
<laughs> because usually I don't play that far into the main quest. Or if I do, it's just to complete it in a one-hour. I don't usually do this like, um, I'll do a little bit of main quest, and a little bit of side quest, and a little bit of main quest. Alright, if I don't find it in the next few seconds, I'm just going to end. I trust it's around here somewhere, but maybe I'm not going to just be able to stumble on it right away. I don't even know if they appear on the map or not. If they are uh, marked locations. I kind of remember there being uh, a river next to it. But rivers aren't uh, always marked on the map, so that's not good. We'll check along here. And we're now entering Black Marsh, actually. <laughs> we're about to cross the border into Argonian territory. Which, as a Khajiit, is not a great idea? I don't know. I, don't, I feel like they don't really get on that well. Now, if we were a Dark Elf, we would have been shot already. Oh! Burn root. Alright, anyway. I'm gonna end stream. Um... Thanks, everybody, who's still here. For joining. I had fun. We got a little little bit of character progression more than anything. We have leveled up a couple times. We've improved our uh, skills that we need. How much extra damage does this do? Eight damage per shot versus like seven for steel, six for iron I'm guessing. So it's a bit better. Alright, I'm going to have to attend to this cat. She is now going around my legs, meowing. So, have a good night, Rage. It was a bit. Entirely justified bit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? It's, it's zapping me. It's sucking me off. I don't think I want that. I'm gonna leave. Alright. Good night, everybody. Uh, I'll see you next week. Have a good. Bye bye.